This week has been pretty crazy in the world of digital marketing, so let's talk about it. Elon Musk is at it again, who's surprised, and X is planning on launching its first video conference call feature. This feature is said to resemble Zoom and follows Elon Musk's plan to make X an app for everything. We can assume that this conference call feature will allow four participants on the screen at a time, and it might be more limited than other video conference apps. So who knows, maybe X is the new Zoom, maybe. Instagram is testing out a new vertical grid feature to replace its classic square-shaped thumbnails. This makes sense, especially since a lot of Instagram's content is already vertical. Plus, this would better align with Reels and other video formats on the app. This could, however, change your entire approach to how you go about the aesthetics of your grid, so influencers beware. Next up, there's some serious drama going on in the world of search engines, and we have to talk about it. Yelp is suing Google, alleging that they're monopolizing the market, driving traffic away from smaller search engines, and limiting consumer choice in order to drive market power. During the trial, Judge Meta ruled that Google is, in fact, a monopolist that abuses its dominant position. This trial is nothing new, though. We've seen this before. It's part of Yelp's decades-long fight against Google and its domination of the market. Market. MySpace has made its return, except it's not MySpace, it's just Instagram stealing ideas from another platform again. Instagram has added a new feature that will allow its users to add music to their personal profiles. It's not quite the same as MySpace in that the song won't autoplay in the app, thankfully, but it will give users the opportunity to showcase their track of the moment and give them another way to express themselves. Last up, the FTC has created a new rule to combat fake reviews. This rule will prohibit brands from things like buying fake followers, buying fake reviews, buying positive or negative reviews, and buying insider reviews. The FTC has the power to seek a maximum penalty of about $51,700 for each part of the rule that a business breaks. So bots, watch out, they're coming for you. That's all I have for you in the world of digital marketing this week. Catch you next week for more updates.